into this medical stuff with Dr. Grib and the next level of the smart meters. He's got the documentation. It's all coming up. But I mean, what do we do? We're killing ourselves to live. We've This is the system we live in, but it's killing us with the Wi-Fi. We'll be right back. Stay there, Chris. I was saying last year that the word brown bag is banned from the city buildings because brown bag is obviously meant to badmouth brown people. Folks, no one, and we looked it up, and even the media had to admit, mainstream media, no one ever anywhere had any slang or connection to a brown bag. It has no connection to anything. It's like I'll say on air, uh, you know, things that have never had but a tenuous connection to something racist, like calling the CIA spooks or something. People go, oh, my God, that's a racist word. Or, or I mean, this is mind control, folks. We have massive globalist, above the law, tax exempt, radiating us, GMO, chemtrailing us. All these billionaires are essentially tax exempt. <coughs> All this is happening. And they're saying, don't use the word brown bag. Then you get a Donald Sterling who is just, he's more than a racist. He is a flaming, hypocrite, two-faced, fake piece of crap. Because he's making money off these athletes. He's renting them houses and apartments. He's a big mogul. He's doing all, he hangs out with them, plays golf with them. And then behind their back, he is calling them horrible names and saying they're like dogs and that, and, that, and that he doesn't want his girlfriend to be seen with black people. I mean, it is just the, I mean, if I don't like somebody, I'll tell them to their face. So we've spent a lot of time on this. I'm not going to get into this the next few days. He's been fined $2.5 million, kicked out for life. Maybe it's because it's a franchise. Maybe his contract says that uh, because... Um, you know, like if you own a Burger King or something and it says you can't serve, you know, bad food or something, you violate the franchise or you can't be a criminal or, you know, say bad things. I mean, I don't know. I don't know uh, exactly what's going on. But it's a diversion, but it's also not a diversion. So let's go back to your calls, Chris and then Brian, then we'll get back into the medical stuff with Dr. Group. Chris, you were making some really good points. What were they? Yeah, that there's no modern leadership that can anyone can relate to, you know, the top influential black people in America, entertainers, sports player, rapper, clowns who only feel stereotypes and they call each other niggas. You know, we have more blacks behind steel right now in jail than they did having working in the fields during slavery. So people are fed up. And on May 1st in Detroit, they're continuing the mobilization against oppression. Detroit has the largest community of African-Americans in America, but ironically, our voter rights have been taken away. Emergency manager Kevin Orr and federal judge Stephen Rhodes are in cahoots with big banksters and actually plan to make city residents pay for the bankers' criminal action. Rhodes, the federal judge, agrees to give $85 million to the Bank of America, who began their bank by profiting off of slavery, and now they plan to cut the African-American community short again. So on May 1st at noon, all the info warriors need to come to Hart Plaza to protest this unconstitutional EMF that has suppressed voter rights in the black community, to pro protest shady banksters who have a plot to destroy America, and to protest the root of this problem. Plug your website, or is there some place where people can find this statement? Yeah, um, you can, everyone can go to moratorium-mi.org. It's got all the information there, and basically, you know, no, it doesn't seem like the country cares that someone was just put into power. That is not democracy. By the way, they had a RoboCop back in the 80s where Detroit gets turned over to a private corporation, basically under default, just like that. Talk about predictive programming. I appreciate your call and, and your, the fact that you held so long. Brian in Colorado, you're on the air. What's your take on all this? Well, it, just two quick things, Alex. The, the first is, okay, Donald Sterling's a racist. So what? I mean, the, the, people like Donald Sterling, the Ku Klux Klan, and those types of people, those are not the ones I'm concerned about. I'm concerned about those like Wild Billy Clinton, who doesn't speak what's really in his heart, which means he's probably a bigot, and those who uh, will ostracize not just African Americans, women, uh, Chinese, whoever, behind closed doors by smiling in their face. I love to know my enemy. I love to know who I'm dealing with. So I don't necessarily have a problem uh, with Donald Sterling. However, you know, he has to go through whatever he has to go through. Uh, 
And those you know black NBA players that are uh, like LeBron James who are uh, you know saying all this stuff, I got one question to ask them: What have you done in the community besides sell four hundred dollar pair of sneakers to our people? And the second thing is this: I'll not shut up. I'm a preacher. I don't want to get on a roll here. Well, I like it. But this is the uh, we as a people have run from Jim Crow segregations right into the arms of Bishop and community leader J.E. Crow. Nothing has damaged our community as much as the entitlement mentality reinforced by yahoos like Sharpton, Jackson, Cornel West, Spike Lee, and the king of them, in my opinion, who is Farrakhan. These people are not uplifters of our community. They are killing our community through being nothing more than black mu- than uh, uh, black muppets or bluppets is what I call them. Why aren't, they mar- why aren't they marching against the hugest genocide in the history of this country, which is sisters killing babies? No, they want to talk about uh, Planned Parenthood and these other people who are performing it. Well, Planned Parenthood wouldn't be in business if sisters and others didn't show up to murder their babies. Well, that's why right. They- oh, no, that's, that, that's true. And Margaret Singer said, we got to pose as liberals, buy off the black leadership so we can do this. And that's my whole point is they use somebody like Sterling as a distraction so the actual eugenicist can act like they're not racist and evil. And, and, and the people at MSNBC, I'm not saying they're all in on this, but they should now know the history and that now they are in on it if they don't speak out against it. And somebody like Al Sharpton, the FBI informant, you know, cocaine dealer, and all of his race pimping, I mean, these people are monsters. And that's what it comes down to, and that's why something like the Sterling situation is so disgusting, is because it gives the system the distraction they need to look like the good guys. Uh, great points. Thank you so much, Brian. All right, that's it for calls on that subject, and I appreciate all those guys holding a lot of good points. Uh, your points on this, then we're going to move back into the medical news. My points are exactly the same. I mean, when you look at the big picture of things and you see the diversion, it takes people's attention away from the chemtrails. It takes people people's attention away from NSA the spying plan, which is to keep you sick, to keep your brain in a foggy area, to you know create sterility in males, to lower sperm count, to create disease in the body, to fund the pharmaceutical. Uh, the oil and gas industry, when we've had free energy forever, Tesla's technology, <clears throat> you know, and now you have the destruction of the planet because of all the fracking and the drilling and all the other stuff. So basically you have this, you know, the agenda, Agenda 21 and other things, which are going on all around us, which should be on every single, you know, news and every single newspaper and all the media should be talking about it. But no, we... They don't want all that information out there. They don't want people to wake up to the truth. So they divert them with these little things here and these little shootings here and, and all this other stuff. And they're also trying to divide people. I mean, they're, you know, it's been going on for a long time. They're trying to split up marriages. They're trying to, you know, create racism to divide the masses because they know, in my opinion, that people are finding out about these things and people are making a stand. I mean, with smart meters, with fluoride, I mean, you have action groups now that are... There's no doubt that they hadn't been poisoning us both chemically, biologically, radiologically, and culturally. They would already be defeated. I think the time's running out and they know that. And it's just, you know, right now, as you've seen in the last two years alone, it's kind of like an exponential uh, coming together of people because of all the lies and, and, and people finding out all the truth. And, and not only that, but people going to their doctor and people being sick and watching their kids become sick and having all these health issues and finally coming up to the wall and saying, what do I need to do? I need to get, I need to look somewhere else. Mainstream media is obviously not telling me the truth. They're obviously lying. Here's the bottom line. I want you to expand on it. It's because it just hit me. We need to study the globalist plan, realize they're enemy number one, they're anti-human. They want us dead. I mean, that's public. They want world population reduction. And we need to focus on that, learn their plan, and whatever their plan is, go against it. And, and then later, if we want to kill each other, fine. 
But I mean, they are the big enemy. They're the ones pushing all this race stuff and all this religious fighting stuff because it's how they manage us. And I know I just keep repeating that, but the general public doesn't know that. They look, just buy into whatever the narrative is, and I'm sick of it. Look at all the anger that this has created. I mean, just 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 the fact of the NBA and the and Donald Sterling situation. Well, it is over the it, top. I mean, know, the guy makes hundreds of millions of dollars off black people, and then he's sitting there saying how much he hates them. I mean, it's it's really it, sick. It is. It is. And it and but think of all the disease and and everything that that's caused, and all the people that are becoming depressed and everything because they sit around and watch the news all the time. And just think about the neg. Not only that, but just think about the news in general. It's negative. What's happening is they're creating a situation which we didn't even talk about with the with the frequencies that keep your body in a sympathetic state. Sympathetic state is a fight or flight response. When you're in a fight or flight response in your system. Your adrenal glands become overworked, you produce adrenaline, your immune system drops 